irreverent, entertaining, cool. You're listening to LA Talk Radio. Hi, welcome to Question Reality. I'm your host, Priscilla Leona, and we are coming to you live from Los Angeles, California. Our show is broadcast every Sunday from 5 p.m. to 5.50 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Now, if this is your first time tuning in, our show will help you to question your career reality. This show is for you if you are considering a career in the entertainment industry. Our guests will provide you with advice and resource information on how and what it takes to pursue a career successfully in show business. Now, our guests work in various professions and are at various stages of their career. So that means that we will definitely have someone on the show who will be able to answer any of your show biz questions. If you want to check out our past guests, read their bios, listen to their interview instantly, or download one of the shows, go to the LA Talk Radio website, click on the link that says Channel One, scroll down, look for our show, Question Reality, and click the link. And this takes you directly to our archive page, and that's where you can view the list of our past guests. As you know, we have celebrities, we have Oscar winners, we have Emmy winners, we have Grammy Award winners, we have winners on the show. Everybody's a winner. But it's okay if you're a loser, too, because uh, there's really no losers. There's really no losers, but if you're losing, at love, you know, we can help you there too. There's nothing we can't help you by answering questions on our show. So go to the official Question Reality website, questionrealityradioshow.com, and that has all of our guests for our shows. We are booked until March. As you know, we're usually booked six months to a year in advance, and we are booked until March. Thank you, everyone, so much. We got some cool guests. Like next week, we have the celebrity Vic Monagana coming on the show from Star Wars. And we just had Anthony Dyson, who is the creator of R2-D2 from Star Wars. And, oh, my gosh, you have to see all of the wonderful people that we have coming on the show. We have a lady from Saturday Night Fever, one of the stars from Saturday Night Fever. If you remember the show from back in the day, the movie, uh, she's going to be fantastic. And it just, the hits keep coming. So check out the website, uh, questionrealityshow.com. Now, as everybody has been going crazy and losing their minds when I announced that we were having our next guest on the show. Uh, Everybody loves this woman. My God, I've got, in one day, I got 217 between emails and texts about, oh my God, I can't believe she's coming on the show. I can't believe it. Yes, she is here with us today. It is the beautiful Gorgeous, stunning, mesmerizing, I call her mesmerizing mermaid eyes because her eyes could launch a thousand ships. They're just so beautiful. And my husband, my husband has a poster of her and he takes little trips into his room after dance mobs. And I'm like, what the hell is going on in there? It is Kelly Highland. Woo! Welcome to the show, <laughs> Kelly. Oh, thank you so much for having me. Oh, my God. You know that you must cause all kinds of tension and friction in households with men, right? <laughs> but, I, I don't know about that. <laughs> yes, you do. Oh, my God. You are. I, I, you know, we when I had a birthday party last year, um, we were asking each other questions. It's just part of the birthday party. And, and uh, someone said, what would be like one of your three wishes? And one of them was, I would love to look like Kelly Highland from Dance Moms. I swear to God, they're like, oh, my, oh my goodness, I feel sorry for them. <laughs> oh, no, no, oh, you're so beautiful. Goodness. You could have been a oh, supermodel. <laughs> well, I thank want to thank you. you again for coming on the show. And, of course, your two daughters inherited your <laughs> beautiful looks. Now, I have yet to see your husband, but, my God, from the looks of those two girls, there is a hot-looking family in Pennsylvania. <laughs> Now, what's Randy? Yeah, How come we see Randy? What's Randy look like now? We want to see him. <laughs> my husband was actually on one of the episodes. Oh, it was it. the one where we did the bride dance. <gasps> um, he oh. was in the audience sitting with me. Oh. Uh, but they don't usually show the guys. Even if the guys come to a dance competition, they don't show them. Because I, and I think one of the reasons why they do that is because we have such a big cast 
that it's confusing, mm-hmm. <clears throat> you know, to have so many people. Yeah. So they, unless there's some kind of a drama or problem with the guys, they don't show them. Now you have, uh, of course, beautiful Brooke and Paige, but you have a, I believe, 14 year old son, Josh, who I've yet to see, but I hear that he's a little hottie too. Now yes. is he, is he's he actually in the dance 15. World? Oh, he's, he, 15. he's actually 15. Yes. And he's so funny. When I take him on meet and greets, me and Brooke and Paige do meet and greets. And every so often I'll bring my husband and my son to help me out. And I swear my son Joshua gets more pictures and has more fans than the girls. Oh, <laughs> <It's so funny. laughs> oh yeah, I love him. I get that because Google. he's a fifteen year old boy, you know. Yeah. I mean, who doesn't love a fifteen year old boy when you're over thirty? <laughs> yes. No. I'm I'm st- there are some gorgeous looking young boys now. It makes you want to be twenty again. Well actually- Yeah. But is he uh, is he a dancer as well, or what? Is, what does he no. do? My son danced until he was seven, okay. um, and then he quit dancing and became a hockey player. <gasps> but yes, him and Paige and Chloe actually that was Paige and Chloe's first trio together, and it was with my son Joshua. The oh. two girls were cheerleaders, <gasps> and Josh was a football player. Oh. And, and to this day, that is still their favorite trio. Oh, it was that trio. Yeah, it was great. If now, you go online, you, or you can see pictures of, of them, and it was really cute. Okay. Now, you, Kelly, uh, you began dancing when you were two, and uh, as we all know, you danced for Abby Lee Miller's Mother's Dance Company, and yeah. you danced until you were 15. So was it your dream to be a professional dancer on Broadway, or what did you... It was not, and you know, that that's a lot of mine and Abby's problems. Um, you know, I... I love dance, and, you know, I I enjoyed competing, but I wanted to do other things. I I wanted to be a cheerleader. I wanted, you know, I had a lot of, I wanted to, I knew I wanted to be a mom, and, you know, being on Broadway and things like that, it's hard to have a family, and I knew that's what I wanted to do. So um, when I quit dance, um, I think Abby still to this day holds a grudge against me. For that, because she she thought that you know I was able to be on Broadway, but it it was not a dream of mine. I just I knew that I wanted to have kids, and that's what I did. So you so you were dancing, and then you did cheerleading, and then you were doing. I know you briefly were a makeup artist for Clinique Cosmetics, and I then was. you were. Oh well, I I was wondering about that because on the show your makeup. I assume that there's a makeup person to to do do your makeup but your there makeup are makeup is people so- they basically do abby <laughs> ah! yes she does look like she has she needs all the help <laughs> she uh, does look no, like we, she's got five going the, at one time right <laughs> yeah the the moms basically got their makeup done for our interviews but other than that we were pretty much on our own unless uh, the makeup artist gave us eyelashes okay. but basically we did our own makeup yeah, because your makeup was always yeah. perfect, and I'm like, well, okay, some of them look kind of, you know, they look like normal, they're, you know, they don't look as um, glamorous, and your makeup was always pristine, so that makes sense that I found out that you used to do makeup, so. Yeah. Now, how did you meet, how did you meet your husband? Oh, wow. I've known my husband forever. Uh, we lived in the same neighborhood, and we actually started dating I was 12 going on 13, and he was 15. And we dated off and on until we got engaged. And we've been married now for it'll be 20 years. Wow. So I, I, I'm 43, and I've been with him since I was 12, 13. So wow. we've been together a long time. Wow. <laughs> a lot of history now, there. <laughs> is it, but see, that's a very common thing, I think, uh, on the East Coast, especially in the smaller towns. I don't know where you're from, yeah. but in the smaller towns, that's just very, very normal. And you usually stay married a lot longer. Uh, now, did yeah. the other dance moms, are they, did they have the childhood sweethearts as well? I think most of them met in either college or late in high school. Okay. Um, I know um, Christy and Jill met their husbands, I think, in college. Um, now, Melissa's just recently married again. Okay. Um, you know, and Holly, Holly has been with her husband. She's been married 20 years. I think she was, her and her husband got married about the same time as my husband and I. 
Oh my gosh. So you, yeah. you, you and the husband, you are, you are, you should be very proud of the girls and your son. I mean, it seems like a, a total soccer mom situation. Uh, the yes, little, we are. They, they all girl. work so hard. You know, yeah, I they, mean, yeah. the kids on the show, they really, you know, I mean, they go to every kid on the school or oh God, sorry. Every kid on the show other than Maddie McKenzie, go to full-time regular school. So they're in school from 7 till 3, and then after school, our call time is 4 o'clock, and we usually work till about 10. So they do full-time school and then a full-time job, and we are gone every weekend. So they work very hard, and, you know, I think every one of the kids is a straight-A student. So in amongst all their learning their dances in two days and, um, doing all that they still keep up the grades well, let, me great ask you, let me ask you it uh, it seems like it is an extremely rigorous job being a dance mom um because you i, I mean the rehearsals and then the competitions and what for for the other mothers who are considering putting their children into uh dance can you share what the reality of life is like if you decide to put your child in dance. If your child wants to dance, that's a big commitment from you, right, Kelly? Because you you have to give up so much of you, your personal time for your child. And of course, it's worth it. But what are some of the things that one should think about before they commit? Because you don't want to tell the kid, yes, I'm going to put you in dance class. And then you go and then all of a sudden you get tired of the life and then you quit. So can you help help them out? Yeah, I mean, it's definitely a big commitment, and I think you and the child both have to be committed. You know, I mean, it can't be just one-sided. Um, like, in my family, even, not even just the mom and the daughter, your husband has to be committed, because if, for me to do all this competition with my girls, my husband has to stay home with my son every weekend, and, you know, take him to his hockey games and, and things like that, so it's a whole family thing especially when you compete I, I mean you're gone on the weekends you I, I mean competitions usually last from morning till night so you're gone the entire time so if you don't have a husband that's supportive of it, it it's pretty much impossible for you to compete unless you're dragging your son along with you who you know is not going to be happy every weekend right but I, I would say for the mom to just be very supportive of the kids I mean you know, you win some and you lose some and just to be positive. And, you know, I, I mean, and I think it's a great learning lesson for the kids that mm -hmm. you're not always going to win and mm -hmm. that's okay. Right. How do you, Kelly, how do you balance your life? Because you've got a husband and you've got the children and then you've got to have your personal life. What are some tips that you can give other mothers so that it isn't so overwhelming and mentally exhausting with the kids, the kids, the kids, the kids, the kids and the dance all the time? What do you do? How do you balance it? Oh, gosh, I don't think I balance very good. <laughs> uh, you know what? I, I mean, for me to relax, um, I don't it, like on the show. I'm very good friends with Christy, and when we go away on the weekends and we're competing, that's kind of my relaxation. Is you know, at night, the the girls will play, and Christy and I sit and hang out and talk and have our mom time while the girls are having their girl time, and really, that's my relaxation. Right. You know, because when I'm home, I'm, you know, catching up on laundry or, you know, making dinner or trying to spend time with my son because I'm gone on the weekends. And, you know, so, I mean, it, it's nice to have dance mom friends. Yeah. Do you have friends outside of the dance moms group? I do. I do. Um, I don't see them very often just because right. I'm, you know, constantly gone on the weekends. But, you know, I mean, I try to have lunch with them or do coffee, you know, as much as possible. But, um, do you, you know. do you Do you think that you acclimate better to the lifestyle of a dance mom because you were, in fact, a dancer? And that might be a little harder uh, for people I, who are saying I, say I really definitely... Not? I think I definitely understand the lifestyle a lot more just because I lived it my whole life. So to me, you know, going to dance competitions and stuff is just natural to me. And 
you know, I think a mom who's coming in new to it, who who never has been in the dance world, I, I think some of the moms think we're absolutely crazy. <laughs> Just because, you know, we're doing the hair and the makeup and, you know, we're in the dressing room rushing and we have one number to change their costumes. And Like my girlfriend, my one girlfriend from high school, she has one son and she's never done any of this. And she'll look at me and she'll be like, you're crazy. She's like, why do you do this? And I'm like, well, it, it's just normal to me, you know? And she's like, I would never do that. And I'm like, but you never had girls and you were never a dancer. So you just don't get it. That's like, what I it, think. To me, it's just normal. Mm-hmm. That's what I think because you had, I don't know, do any of the other moms, were they, do they have the dance background? Is is that why it comes um, easy? Well, Holly, Holly did dance a little bit. Um, and I think Christy was a cheerleader. And I think Melissa did some gymnastics, and Jill was a cheerleader. Okay. All right. So, so that's that, really the only, yeah, Holly so and I, I were I really the only dancers. I don't hear that any of them were like CPAs or in accounting where this would just blow their mind having to deal with the dance mom world, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, Holly was the most educated. I mean, I mean yeah. she has her doctorate. She was a principal, but yeah. she was a dancer, so she... She had a little bit of both worlds, so she understood the dance world. She so. understood the dance world, right. Now, I yeah. want to ask you, um, this woman from Candy Apples, Kathy, right, is yeah. she, and again, you don't have to answer any of these questions, but these are these are from the 217 uh, emails and texts. Uh, this woman, um, Rosalie from uh, Leonia, New Jersey wants to know, is Kathy wicked or what? That's what she said. I have no I, <laughs> I My comment would be no. I actually like Kathy. And if you watch the show, like, I, I never really argue with Kathy. Only, I, I think only once I did, whenever she took Brooke's costume. Um, it, well, it was Phoebe's costume, but Brooke was going to borrow it and she took it from her. Um, but other than that, I, you know, I never really had a problem with Kathy. Um, and I think they make her character out to be crazy on the show. But in real life, I, I really think she's a nice person. I think she's a great dance teacher. And, you know, I think she treats the moms on her team great. I, I really don't have any complaints about Kathy. Yeah, I find her respectful, too. Uh, what, uh, what do you, what do you, why... Is is Abby, does she have this cantankerous relationship with other dance studios and teachers, or is it just that lady, Kathy, from Candy Apples? I think it's just Kathy. Okay. Um, so they have some sort and, of... And Abby and Kathy used to actually be friends before uh, the show started. I see. And then once the show started, uh, you know, there was that, the drama and, you know, the intense, you know, we have to beat you, and... That's how they became enemies. But Are there... you know, actually, Brooke, Abby took Brooke to Kathy's studio to demonstrate once. Abby went there and taught classes uh, mm-hmm. and took Brooke to demonstrate. I see. I see. So something happened along the way, whether it was competition or something that caused this animosity between them that yes. hasn't been healed. Mm. Is, yes. is, is, are, mm-hmm. are dance studios in general, do they act the way that? Abby and Kathy act? I hope not. No, so this is the... <laughs> so this you, is I'm the, for them because I... <laughs> because I don't, they're on a reality show, they should not act like that. <laughs> yeah, so we, we have no idea as viewers. We think, okay, well, obviously this happens with all the dance studios. There's like a war. It's like West Side Story. No, I don't yes. think so. I don't think so. I yeah. hope not. Uh, th- I have supposed to be fun. <laughs> yeah, I would think. Uh, I have a question from Lisa from Percival, Georgia, and she says, uh, why isn't uh, Kathy's daughter dancing anymore on the show? I don't know if you'd know that question, but. I really don't know that because um, I really, I mean, Kathy lives in Ohio and we live in Pittsburgh. We're like three hours apart. Yeah, so so I only see Kathy when we're at the dance competition. So I don't really know her very well. I oh. did see on an interview on the show that Vivi wanted to play softball. Oh. So I'm just assuming that Vivi, you know, told it's her mom she wasn't into the dancing. Not in it. Okay. Now, did, has, uh, now, 
that this situation has happened, which we're going to go into, uh, has Kathy approached you to join uh, Candy Apples? Because that would be a feather in her cap to have you and Brooke and Paige. Yeah. Uh, no, Kathy has it, but I think Kathy would have to have permission from the producers to do that. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Now, now I just started watching the new show, and Abby has apparently, she has an elite team. And I'm like, what? So, in your opinion, why does Abby need to enlist these kids from outside the school? I mean, I would think there'd be a li- li- line around the block, around the state to get in there. Why, why does she, why is she taking from outside? I don't know. And neither do any of the other moms. We, okay. we find it very hypocritical of Abby because she always talks about Kathy bringing people in from other studios and yet that's what she's that's been right. doing. You're you right. know, and she takes credit for, you know, her new team winning when she didn't train them. So mm-hmm. how do you really take credit for that when you didn't train them? I, I actually think it's embarrassing for Abby because the girls that you taught aren't winning. <gasps> you know what I mean? <sighs> Yeah. Like, like when she puts them up against her new team, yeah, that's great that your new team's winning, but you didn't train them. Right. You trained the original team. Right. So. Now, do you think. I, I, I don't know why she does that. But do you, maybe, do you think it's the show that they said, oh, we're going to bring in an elite team and she just went along with it? Maybe that's why. No, you know, Abby from day her. one wanted a new team. She, oh. Abby has hated the girls on the team since day one. Oh, my God. Oh, okay. Especially so, mine. Oh, she finally got rid of us. <laughs> oh. Now, do you and the girls still watch the show? We do not. You no. Don't? Okay. But you know what? We, my girls really never watched the show, to tell you the truth. Because mm-hmm. um, normally when it was airing, like on Tuesday nights from 9 to 10, they're at dance class or we're filming. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, you know, then they come home, they do homework, they go to school the next day. There was really no time. Now, I would watch it yeah, just because um, when we film the show, we film between 50 and 70 hours of filming for the show, and they only air 43 minutes of it. <sighs> so I like to see what pieces they pick and choose from to air. And what I mean, do you feel about that, the pieces that you, do you generally overall agree with what they air? You like it? Do you wish they would have shown more? And if so, what of? I, I totally disagree with what they air all the time. Okay. Um, I, I think that the producers and them like to air the drama. And mm-hmm. I think our fans want to see more dancing and yeah. more of the girls. The right. girls interacting. I I personally think that that's what the fans want to see, but I, I don't know why when they edit it, they always show all the drama. Well, so. you know, I, 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 I was asking because, you know, I have lots of, of people who are into dance, and I said the exact same thing. And one girl, I remember her saying, well, the show is called Dance Moms, Priscilla. I mean, come on, duh. And I thought, hmm. I didn't know what to think about that, but I personally agree with you. I like seeing, you know, the children dancing and mm-hmm. the choreography. So we, we go around the country and do meet and greets, and I'll ask, like, like, what do you guys like to see on the show? And everybody says the Yeah, that, I agree. I, and I thought, yeah. oh, God, I didn't even think about that. But, uh, and then I started to think, hmm, I wonder why if maybe the producer's focus is more on the moms, but it should be on the kids, I think. I, I just think, I, I mean, it's a reality show. And I yeah. think when producers think of a reality show, they think of drama. And, you know, yeah. like that's what draws ratings. the crowds. Ratings. Now, uh, I guess you didn't watch the, the the show that just aired the other night, but oh, Christy, who's my other favorite dance mom, I love this woman. She has nicknames for these mothers, and I had to get some Kleenex, Kelly, because I was rolling. She has <laughs> these nicknames for these new dance moms, like the one with the purple hair. Uh, her name is uh, Jody, I believe, and she calls her Dud Muffin, and then she She's got Boring Lori. Then she's got Frumple Still Skin Tracy. And then it's What's 
her face Tammy because she can never remember her name. And then she calls the Jeanette lady uh, Count Stockula because she said that this woman has been stalking you guys for years to get on the show. Yeah, and then she she's been. got oh my god, the she's got Christy, 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 the Bible thumper. <laughs> that lady scares the crap out of me. That woman uh, is on the okay, edge. Okay, no, wait a minute. The- this is why Christy's my best friend on the show. Who can think of these <laughs> names? Is why. <laughs> she is a genius. She's so, funny. She's so sardonic. I love her humor. She is so quick, you know, quick witted, and she can just call them off and she just tells it like it is. And she can, even if she doesn't say anything to Abby, you know, she's going to shoot her a look. So, uh, absolutely. I, I love her. She's, 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 she's there now. I think that um, she just misses you terribly on the show. I don't know. I know uh, that's she does. true, but she does look kind of miserable. How's she holding up with the, you know, with the new moms? Uh, I think she's okay. I mean, I don't want to speak for her, but yeah. um, you know, and I don't well, talk to her much I, because oh. you know Abby did give the rule that no one on the show is allowed to speak to me, or they're going to be thrown off the team. Oh, but, um, and they have Christy to. Christy and Chloe, them. they do break the rules and text me every so often. Oh. So I, I do talk to them every so often. But, you know, show. I mean, I think they miss us. And I, I know Chloe misses my girls. And, you know, it's hard. It's hard yeah. because we have been friends forever. I, I mean, our girls started dancing together when they were two and a half. So for 10 and a half years, Christy and I have been best friends, and our girls have been best friends. Do and for have... one day, it just to end is difficult. Now, it's for hard. people for people who don't know what happened, if you're tuning in for the first time and you have not watched the show, uh, Kelly, why don't you tell us what happened that caused this great controversy and why you're not on the show anymore? You've decided not to be on the show. Um. Oh, gosh. Oh, I'm really not allowed to talk much about oh, it because okay. I've been having a lawsuit against it. And I'm oh, not allowed to talk okay, about yeah. the actual incident. Okay. But uh, there was an argument between Abby and I. And, um, you know, I just one day was fed up with the way my kids were treated. They're constantly bullied and made to feel bad about themselves and constantly wanting to be replaced to Abby, wanting to replace them. And one day I just said, you know what? please replace my kids because we're done being bullied. And I went to leave and Abby stood up and got in my face and we had an altercation. And that's the last day I've been on the show. Well, I can, I, I, I'm not under a lawsuit constraint, so I can tell you my version. Abby was working Kelly's last nerve. She was all up in her grill. She was pointing her finger. She was within like an inch of Kelly's face. And I mean, I'm telling well, let's you. Let's put it this way. One of the little girls on the show, as she was walking out of the room, said, oh my God, she bit her. Yeah, it was that close. But. They don't show any of that, so oh, that's all uh, I'm going to say. She, oh my God! <laughs> oh, I, I know. I mean, I don't. I only saw, of course, what I saw. But her, I saw her finger so close that you, you didn't see any space between the camera, between in, no background space. So that's what we saw, and, and that's I, the edited version. Ah, uh, <laughs> I know, but she was, I mean, you don't go up and point in somebody's face. And I said to myself, oh, no, she didn't. Because, of course, you know, they show the trailers before they show. They just tease it out of you. So yeah. I said, I said, I know what's going to happen. I said, Kelly is going to give her a smackdown. And I hope she rips that damn weave out of her. <laughs> and I was like, Can somebody <laughs> pop her in the eye. She needs it. I think she's just runs her mouth so much unfortunately yeah you know, that's who she is i mean well, I don't you, you know what i i look at it as i have to be the advocate for my kids yes because nobody else is going to be and i have raised my children to not back talk adults right and you know when abby gets on their face and they sit there and they bite their tongue and don't say anything eventually it gets to the point that i as a mother need to speak up and I do do that. And I do that every episode. That's why I fight with Abby. Okay. But well, I do- feel as a mom, it's my place to do that and to protect my kids. Yeah. Uh, an adult should not speak to my children that way. Right. And I, and- I don't want them to think that that is the way an adult should speak to you. Right. 
And does she do, but, do you no? Know, does she, did she, is she, the way we see her on these shows, has she always been like that or is she amping it up for the show? Uh, Abby has always been tough. Um, and, and you know what? I think that's great. I, when it comes to dance, you know, when you're correcting the kid on dance and everything, that's fine. But when, when it comes beyond dance, I, I think, and, you know, Abby has said to my daughter four times now, has looked at her and said, you're stupid. You need to go to Children's Hospital and find out what's wrong with you. As a mom, if you don't stand up and say something to an adult that looks at your child and says that in front of a group of people, there's something wrong with you as a mom if you don't stand up for your child when someone says that. And I think as a teacher, Abby is overstepping her boundaries. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Is that, I mean, have you heard, you've been around other dance moms in different studios. Is this normal practice with other, have you ever heard of another dance teacher conducting themselves? Uh, I don't think so. And if a dance teacher has done it, I think most of the parents would leave the studio. I, I mean, why would you take your kid to an extracurricular activity, even if it's a competition team? There are many dance competition teams that you don't need to be treated that way and, or spoke to that way. Right. And, and they're competitive and they're good. You don't have to be downgrading to a child to be a good teacher. Right. Now, with all of these, obviously, we see how Abby is every single week and the way she talks to the kids and, and the moms. Why do you feel, do you feel it's just because Abby has a reality show that everybody wants to for to bring their kid to the studio and suffer that kind of abuse? I mean, why would you, why do you think so many dance moms want their kids to still be in the Abby Lee Dance Company with her te- te- tra- doing that to children? Is it, uh, is it, on I the national television that's show? I, that's, that's what I think. That's what I think. Uh, absolutely. But, because there were many, many students at her studio before the show started. Okay. So, you know, they all came once the television show started. Now, so. why, why Abby, out of all the dance uh, studios, why do you, and again, this is your opinion, why do you think they chose Abby Lee Miller uh, to be the, the studio that they were going to do Dance Moms for? Well, when we were doing audition tapes, um, we did our auditions, and they were held at Abby's studio um, for everybody around I mean, people from all areas came, not just from her studio. Um, They had picked Melissa, Christy, and I. And we had to send in tapes and, you know, um, clips of the girls dancing and clips of the moms, you know, interviewing each other and things. And one of the producers called us and was like, do you really have a heavy dance teacher that's mean to kids? We're like, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) And they're like, Oh my gosh, this is great. Mm. I, like, I don't know if you know, originally the show was supposed to be called Just Dance. And nice. when we signed up for the show, my contract actually says Just Dance. And it was a documentary and it was only supposed to be for six episodes. Oh. And once we started talking to them and, you know, we were telling them about Abby, it ended up being, um, they changed the name to Dance Moms. And here we are, you know, over 100 episodes later, we're still filming. Now, you, uh, I don't know if you're aware of this, but uh, when the show just started, uh, I think last week, you and Brooke and Paige are still in the opening credits. Why is that? I I don't know that. I I would love to know that. (laughs) Um, I really don't know. We are not coming back. Mm -hmm. So I don't know why they still have us in there. Um, But I really contractually can't say anything about it. Because they pretty much own me till season six, so Ooh, what I don't season know is if they'll take us off. What, se- what season is it now? Because we'll bring you back and you give us all the good scoops. <laughs> <laughs> they just finished filming season four. Oh wow! But season four is still airing now. Oh yes. well, what happens? Uh, well, ha- what happens if it doesn't go to season six? Then you can come out and talk I, about I, everything. I think you're out of your contract <laughs> if they don't renew the show. I think you're just out of your contract. Okay. I, I don't really know how that works. I've never been on a television show before, so I don't know. Now, is uh, this... But I, I assume if the show ends, that's the end of your contract. 
is but I'm this, not sure. Is this show scripted or, well, not scripted totally, but is it partially scripted? I mean. No, we it, have never been given a script. Okay. Yeah, so they none of us are actresses. None of us. And, and I think that's one of the reasons why the show works is yeah. none of us have to act because we were all friends and we were all at that dance studio. So we're just really doing what we normally do every day at dance class. There's just cameras in our face. And what do you, now you and so you say you're definitely not coming on coming back to the show. If if Abby by some miracle of God, Abby decided that she was going to change her ways and not be <laughs> as crude, would you consider coming back on the show or it's absolutely no way, Jose? No, I would not come back. I, I don't think she could do anything to mend the wounds that she did to my kids. Mm. And was you know, she... I, I mean, Paige has had panic attacks when mm. the woman walks in the room. Wow. Like, I, I really don't think that it's a healthy environment for her. Like, why would I take her back there to be on a television show? To me, it's not worth being on a television show for my child to have panic attacks. So, so the girls are happier now. The girls are <laughs> happier now. They are. And, they are. you know, they're pursuing... Uh, different things. Um, we have some things in the works right now. Um, you know, Paige is modeling. Um, we have some movies that we're working on, um, commercials. So we're just going down some different avenues. I mean, nothing in con- like that I can talk about right. because my contracts aren't final yet. But um, right. we have a lot of stuff in the works, and it, it's a healthy, happy environment. So you can see they're that enjoying the their summer. The we're, we're taking some time off this summer. Mm-hmm. The girls are blooming now. They're they're. they're I, I mean, I I would imagine that with with the way that you say that uh, Abby talks, and I only see, of course, what's on the show. Uh, but have the girls? Have you or the girls suffered any sort of emotional trauma or anxiety? Because to me, it seems like I would have. I'd have to go to a therapist or a doctor uh, if I had to deal with what you had to do. I mean, you seem like a strong woman, but I mean, there is yeah. a breaking point. What? What's? Ha- I, I definitely of- think that we all have suffered. I, I mean, being put through that day after day is just emotionally draining. You know, I mean, like I said, Paige started having panic attacks when Abby would walk in her room. Wow. I mean, that that is definitely a problem. It's an unhealthy environment. Now, is happens. it? Have you heard of other any of the other children suffering from from the? I know Kendall had had a panic attack on camera, also. Oh yeah, um, but I can't I can't speak right. for them. Right. Uh, you know, as far as I know, Kendall did on camera. That's the only reason I would mention that. But right. Um, the, the other girls, I, I mean, I'm sure everybody has their own problems and, you know, I, I'm, I'm sure some of them don't think, have any problems, you know. Right. I mean, well, even the little everybody's girl, different. Ma- Mackenzie, the little girl who's Maddie's sister, you know, the star, mm-hmm. Maddie, yeah. no, no one could, do, uh, even she looks terrified of Abby. I mean, I've seen Abby drive that little thing to tears, too. I mean, wouldn't you be terrified of Abby? <laughs> uh, if I was that little and I'd have to look up to this woman, this, you know, this massive woman who was just screaming and then she's saying, I, one of the things that bother me is that I don't like when she says, save your tears for the pillow. And yet she cries. Yeah. Or, on, or oh, she, she says, you can only cry when someone dies if your arm is chopped off. Those are the I, only two reasons, ways you're allowed to cry. It does but, seem but you're, like you're she, 10. But you're not allowed to cry. <laughs> yeah. She does seem to have some conflicting statements because she tells yes. the kids one thing and then she's crying up a she storm. She does the opposite. That's absolutely. And um, I, I I, just feel that she might not watch the show and catch her saying some of the things that come out of her mouth. But, you know, what do you, I don't know what has made her. I feel, and it's my personal opinion, I feel that she's just, her mother seemed like a lovely woman, but I feel like... Like she is, a, she's got this really hard shell, and I don't know what happened in her life, but she seems really like protected. Like, yeah, I'm going to hurt you before you hurt me. That's yeah, what I, I, I just, I, I think she's an unhappy person. Yeah, like I do. I think, I think she's very unhappy, and she takes it out on other people. And I don't know why. It's very I, sad. I, 
I don't know why, what she has to be unhappy about. I mean, honestly, she does have an attractive mm. face. She's an attractive woman. I mean, now she's a star. Shouldn't she be happy about that? I mean, she's got so yeah. much going for her. You would think that her personality would have changed for the better and she would have, you know, acclimated to her new lifestyle. But now she's a diva. <laughs> oh, no. So now it's worse, right? Yes. Oh, no. So now she's not unhappy. Now she's happy, but she's a diva. Oh, no. Oh, I well, I don't know what I don't know what is going to happen with uh with these kids. It's just probably going to be more harsh on them. I don't know with this elite team. I don't know why she needs. From that what much. I understand, she has been a lot easier on the kids since I have left. Oh, really? Yeah. Hmm. That that is what I hear through the grapevine. So maybe she, she, is. she. I hope she is. I hope me leaving and what happened between her and I. And, and my kids makes it better for the other girls on the show. I, I think do. it might have been a reality check for her because I, I don't know. I don't know if you'll agree with this or not, but this again is my my perception. But I really think that she cares about you. I know it's weird. Don't say anything. But I really feel that. And I think it goes back to what you said in the beginning when you used to be a student there. I really think that you were supposed to be her star. Because what I'm seeing now is she's so wrapped up into Mackenzie, like being the new pop queen and and all of this. And I think yeah. that, that was her desire, her wants, her needs, and her desire is to create. And I think that you were supposed to be her greatest creation. And I think that yes. she holds like maybe some kind of pain and internal suffering for her, her not being able to make you or mold you into what she wanted, I think. And I think she feels that with Brooke also. Yeah. That, you know, she wanted Brooke. She wanted to be Brooke's manager and to take control of her music career. And I, I did not want that. I, I Abby did Brooke's dance and I wasn't happy with the way she was treated. So why would I sign her on to do Brooke's music? And, you know, I mean, Brooke used to be the favorite of the studio. She used oh. to be the Maddie of the studio. And, you know, then the show started and when Brooke didn't want to do the music with Abby, <clears throat> She started disliking her. And I think that's why. Mm. So this only started when the show started. She, Brooke was like a favorite up until when the show started. And then it switched to yes, Maddie. But Brooke also, Brooke also was a lot like me. I mean, she didn't want to be at dance seven days a week. Uh -huh. I mean, she's 16. Yeah. She wanted to go to football games. Yeah. And go to her school dances. And, you know, if you watch the show, that's a lot of their reasons I had fights with Abby because I wanted my daughter to be, you know, I had one eighth grade farewell. Right. Dance, and I wanted my daughter to go to that eighth grade farewell dance because you can never get them moments back. Mm -hmm. And Abby didn't think that that was necessary. Right. Well, I, I do think that that's necessary because you oh, can't yeah. ever get that back. Right. And mm, Abby didn't like it. Right. It seems like she wants them to work through their summers uh, doing stuff, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. on their time off, it's like, I know she said, well, you weren't in the studio. You were doing this and you were doing that. And I'm like, oh, my God, they must. Yes, we're not supposed to go on a family vacation. Has you seen Jill on the one episode got in trouble because she went on a yes. family vacation for four days? <laughs> but, I mean, Jill has three kids at home, oh. you know, that, and a husband that she needs to spend time with. and. Four days out of a year is not much to take off of dance to go on a vacation. Gee whiz. So why, what, uh, she has other, other kids that are at the studio. Uh, we never get to see yes. once in a while yes. we get to see them. She um, does. Are the, do the same, does she treat them the same way that she treats you guys? Uh, I don't think Abby deals with them much. Oh, I mean, okay. she, she has other teachers that teach them. Okay. And what, what exactly do you feel, what do you think are the pros and the cons of being at the Abby Lee Dance Company? If you oh were a God. mom, if you were a mom and I'm saying, okay, well, I could be at Abby Lee because maybe she invited me, whatever. It is just like a hypothetical. I, I, I think my favorite thing was um, just 
the parents and the kids. I, I think that we had a very close knit group of girls and moms and yeah. that made it very nice because we felt like family. Yeah. And that's important when, when you're there six days a week, mm-hmm. and, you know, you have to like the people that you're, you're there with. Absolutely. And, um, I also think that, um, Abby is a great choreographer. I, I wouldn't be at her studio if I didn't think she was a great choreographer. Right. Um, the way she goes about teaching, I, I don't care for. <laughs> oh, wow. Did you hear that? Why? What was that? Lightning. Was that... Ooh, oh, I envy you. See, you're wow. saying, oh, well, I envy you. I swear to God, we haven't had rain in like years. I, I, I would love your, I'm from Connecticut. So I'm from the East Coast. And well, I, I was just in Connecticut rain. last weekend for me and Greek. Oh, I was. Talk it about, was fabulous. Oh, I love it. I miss doing, I miss four seasons out here. The sun is up all day long thanksgiving yeah. thanksgiving it's 80 90 degrees here it's not right i want to hit somebody with a damn snowball where is the snow? <laughs> now talk about the girls because we only have a couple minutes um i want you to get in anything that you want to get in i want to know what's on the horizon for brooke i know she just came out with a, a song i think maybe march april not sure what's going on with her singing career mm-hmm. and what's going on with Paige's modeling career um, Paige, um, Paige is modeling. Um, we are just in the process of, you know, going with a new agent and she enjoys it. it it's something new for her and she's just really having fun with it. And Brooke, um, her music, she, she finished her album yeah. and everybody, it, it's out. It's called, um, Brooke Highland. Um, the song that you were talking about is called Mean to Me. Yes. Um, that was her last single that was released. Um, she hasn't started anything new with her music yet. She's been busy um, doing auditions for movies. Um, we're actually all three going to be in a movie coming up. Um, we're filming it in, oh gosh, when is it? August, I think it is. So um, we're busy with that. They've just been busy, like, taking new adventures. <laughs> and you're still doing the meet and greets, right? You still go all around. Yes. And where where could, where could can people come and meet and greet you? Where would we go to find out that information? Uh, you can go on official Highland Girls at eventbrite.com, where we always tweet and Instagram it. Okay. Efficient Highland. So you can go on our Twitter. It's like my, my Twitter and my Instagram is just Dance Mom Kelly. Okay. Dance Mom Kelly on Twitter and then on Facebook, it's Kelly Highland Dance No. Mom. Oh, no, it's not. No, I don't have a Facebook. I just have oh. an Instagram and a Twitter and it's, they're both Dance Mom Kelly. Okay. So this one on Facebook is not your official because I just pulled it up and there is a page. And I that do is not, not have a Facebook page. Ooh. We have so many fakes out there. Yes. Ooh. Okay, so Twitter.com, Dance Mom Kelly is the one, and then uh, Dance Mom me. Kelly yes. for, for Instagram as well. Yes. Okay, and uh, so we can find out everything we need to know about you, and for Brooke songs, we can just, uh, I would assume, iTunes? Uh, yes, and you can buy it on Amazon also. Amazon, iTunes, and I hope that we are going to see you in the future. Anything that you want to say? Anything at all, Kelly, girlfriend? I just want to thank our fans for being so positive with us. Uh, I mean, it's great. We've been off the show for a while, and everybody, we still have such a great following. Oh, you So it's, it's nice to know that everybody still loves us. <laughs> oh my God, you are so loved, at least in this household. And I hope, I know that, that girl, I know that girl Asia uh, came on, uh, Abby Lee. I feel that was a whole setup because they, they brought them on the show and now there's like Asia revisited. I don't know what the name of the show is, but she's got a, well, it's Asia <laughs> yes. something. Oh my Lord. I, that's like a whole nother hour talking about those two. I'm, woo, woo. But you know, the little girl Asia is, she's super, super talented. Talented. She is a very talented girl, but I'd be scared that mother is going to cut my throat if I turn my back. I'm <laughs> kind of scared of her. She's a little scary, but I am so, so glad. Um, anything that you want to say last about Abby Lee Miller, the dance studio, pro, con, good, bad, what? Any advice? No, I really don't have anything to say. 
<laughs> well, we we want to say that you have given us so many joyous moments with you being on the show. You oh, were thank you. No, I'm serious. You know, I'm a huge fan of the show, and you and Christy, my favorite, of course. Uh, and oh, I just want to thank you. You brought so much joy, and your daughters are such beautiful dancers. And I personally wish you the very, very best. Please, please come back. Find a vehicle to come back so that we can see you again. Because I, I would be sad if we don't ever see you and Brooke and Paige again. So please, please, <laughs> okay, Kelly. <I'll> try. <laughs> please, I'm going to get I'll a try. party. I don't know if it'll be dance moms. It might be no, something else. Not dance moms. I just want a whole show about you and Kelly. Let's do a reality show. My God, if they've got Duck Dynasty, come on, Kelly. You know you, can, you can hang with your own reality show. Come on. There we go. Yes. Sounds good well, to me. Thank you, Kelly Highland, for being right, on the thank show. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much. Have a great, great life and say goodbye to your fans. Bye. Thank you. Okay. We'll see you next week on Question Reality. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Irreverent. Entertaining. Cool. You're listening to LA Talk Radio.